Students at a state university of New York campus say mold in their dormitories is making them sick. Despite a top to bottom cleaning over the summer, they claim the problem persists. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reporting tonight from Old Westbury. We have mold! Students at SUNY Old Westbury we shouting, mold. we have mold, we loud enough to tell we Albany. Dozens marching mold. across campus we to demand mold. funding to we better have control have mold. mold like this. In dorm rooms, growing on their clothing, mattresses, ceiling tiles. Persistent mold they fear is making them sick. I've had nasal congestion and everything. Um, been coughing in my sleep. Me and my roommate, um, we had like lung spasms. I get headaches still and it makes me feel sick in the room. Last semester, Danica Patterson had to throw out mold-covered clothing. This semester, it was on her suitcase. And Khalif Metellus twice went to the emergency room after his clothing was covered with mold spores. I feel like they're doing the best of their ability, but the mold comes back every year. This is a yearly recurring issue, and we can't keep putting students' lives at stake. College officials well aware of complaints, but say there is no widespread outbreak. President Calvin Butts and his convocation expressed the Let same desire to remedy the problem. That I hear and understand your concerns. Over the summer, all dorm rooms and AC units were deep cleaned, mold inhibiting paint applied, filters replaced, and on every floor, commercial dehumidifiers. Students were asked to keep all windows closed in air-conditioned rooms. Since the start of school, they cite only 22 cases of mold in 400 dorm rooms, cleaned within hours. But students say that's too many. They're demanding dehumidifiers in every room and... We should get Governor Cuomo in to come and help us. All of this a distraction to their education and a drain on their budget, say students, many of whom have not been reimbursed for medical expenses or ruined possessions. In Old Westbury, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.